Hello. Now in this in this video, <coughs> I will just give you um, something general about trading. And this people until now when I see reaction of the people, I, I go online. I watch hundreds or thousands of videos about trading about something. Uh, almost beginners they don't understand one crucial thing in trading okay now this thing is we say trading okay is math okay this is a simple sentence trading is math and the second sentence it is not magic please put two lines you underline like this to math and magic okay I will show you the heart of trading the heart of trading if you master this if in your mind you think that trading is math here you will succeed if you think that uh, trading is magic you will lose all your money whatever advice that someone gives you okay now I will show you how why do you say trading is math okay I will give you an example to um, to explain this okay a stock is trading XYZ, for example, XYZ is a name of stock. We have thousands of stocks. Okay, it's ten thousand. Okay, you buy it today. Today is twenty seventh of May two thousand thirteen. Okay, this is today. We are on Monday. Okay, so ten dollars. Now, when you buy a new chart that you have, a chart. Put a line like this, a horizontal line, okay? Here, in the, in the chart, if it's going like this, okay? The stock is going up, going down, and you see maybe you have a reason to buy the thing, okay? And you say that the stock will continue to go up. You follow a trend, okay? This is, okay, you have a reason to, to buy the stock. Now, This is today, this is the past, this is the future. Okay, I will show you what does it mean math in trading. You say to yourself, you make a plan. You say, I, I bought the stock today. It's ten dollars. Okay. If it's going up, eleven, twelve, fifteen, seventeen. Okay, it goes up, so you are making money, which is a very good thing. This is math. It goes, for example, one percent. That's why. That's why always. Um, why in the stock market or in trading or any stock you find percentage? They say to you today. This it helps you as a trader. Today, for example, just an example, the stock goes two percent. It goes 5%, it goes 10%, 20%, 50%, okay? Depending on the stock and what happened to the, to, the, to the stock itself, okay? You find the percentage, which when it's going uh, good, when it's going, this is perfect, okay? You are good, you buy 10, and now it's 17, you have $7 for each share. You buy 100 shares, you will have 100, 7, you will have $700 for your trade if you buy 100 shares. Okay. Now, we say it's math. It's, it's calculation. You calculate. There is a percentage of going up. Okay. It's always math. Now, suppose that tomorrow the stock goes down. Now, this line is just a visual line. Visual. You see it? And you see that your stock is going down like this. 
Okay, here. It was here, like this, and now it goes down. Now, if you, you are a good trader, if you are um, relying on math in your trading, and you are professional, or you want to be professional, now what you should do? This is a question for you. If you are a beginner, what do you think? You think that the stock, it maybe go up, so I stay doing nothing. You are like handicapped, or you are like paralyzed, okay? As if someone has an accident, you are paralyzed, you do nothing, and you just watch, okay? This is if you are a loser. Because, not because of the stock goes down, because this is normal, it goes up, it goes down. But the problem is that you, you don't do nothing. Now, if you are professional, you do what you call a stop loss. Stop loss. What does it mean stop loss? It is math. It is math. You say, for example, if from 10 it goes to 9, you put an order to sell. Your, your uh, trading, your, uh, your stock, just to sell. You, this you do it before, before the first day, not the second day, okay? You buy, 10, you put stop loss, 9. Just an example, you can put 8 or 9, 9.50, it depends on you. Depends on when you want to put your stop loss, okay? And you know that you can, you have the probability to lose certain kind of money. For example, from 10 to... Uh, uh, nine, you are losing 10% of your money. Okay? Think about it. You are losing 10% of your money. You can lose 5% or 2% or 1% or whatever you want to, 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 to do it. So, this is, you know, you have a plan. You know what you are doing. This is, trading is math. You understand that if the stock goes down, I'm losing some money. I am okay with this because I can do nothing. Now, we will continue about to, to, to do math. So, this is a trade of someone who is a professional. He uses math. He doesn't use nothing else. Because when you are today here, your stock is $10. This tomorrow is the future. Now, who knows the future? No one knows the future. So why you make trouble to yourself? Since no one knows what will happen tomorrow. Okay? So why you make trouble to yourself? You do what? You do stop loss. And next day you see. If it goes from 10 to 11, you are happy. And you are right. And, uh, and you are making money. Now, if it goes down, you put a stop loss. Wherever your stop loss is. And you know how much money you will lose. So you do this by reasoning, not by feelings. I love, I hope, uh, luck, okay? So you don't have this. No. This is math. Suppose that you, you think that trading is magic, okay? Some people have, have magic hands. They buy 10, it goes to in one year it goes to 100. This is magic. 17 or 20 or 100, 100 dollars. And some people online, uh, please when you when you go online, goes to those, especially those penny stock uh, guys and something, and uh, try to see what they say to you. Okay, he told you. Uh, I know a stock. He tells you like this. I know a stock because of earnings, because of... Uh, he tried to convince you. Okay. It's 10 cents. It will go to $5 in some days. Do you believe that? If you believe that, you are... Uh, you are with the losers. Okay. You, you think that, that, that uh, um, something is magic. The, the, some people... Some people have no knowledge about, about stock market. And this is a false thing. These are professionals who are, who are asking you to put their money and then they short. So they take all your money. And these are scammers. Okay? They do scams and they, took, they take your money. Okay. It, 
So we say in general, trading is math, it is not magic. There is no magic, no one knows. Okay? No one knows. Even 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 when we say Warren Buffett. Even Warren Buffett, he doesn't know that the stock go up, but for him, he do something that makes the stock goes up. And you, you are not Warren Buffett. You have not millions and billions of dollars to put in a stock. For example, Warren Buffett, when the stock is 10, 10 dollars, he buys each day thousands and thousands of shares. So, so the stock is going up. He do the math. Okay? Warren Buffett, he is not doing the magic. He knows that when he buys a lot, the stock goes up. It's something, it's math. You can calculate it. I don't say you calculate it 100%, but you calculate it and these guys like Warren Buffett and a lot of uh, traders like him and investors, um, you say Warren Buffett is an investor. It's not. He is a trader too. He trades. In investing, it means he stay one year, two years and he dumps the stock and he sells it when, for example, he buys 10, it goes to $200 in one year or two years. And then he, he sell it, he dump it, and he take his money, the profit, which is too, too much profit compared to anyone else. He, because he has the money, and he has the skills, and he has a lot of people helping him doing, doing this. Okay? So that's why some people, I, 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 don't, I don't understand some people who are uh, attending his conference, paying him $100,000 or more, to, to have a conference with him and he explain to them what is value investing. I, I don't, until now I don't understand how these people are, are crazy in their minds. That someone like Warren Buffett or any other, I just give you an example. That he will give his secret to the people. Now, how do I know some of, of what the people do? It's just by, by, um, by, watching the videos and what they tell to the people okay you say how, how do you how do you know that this stock goes up oh i have a i have a criteria i have which criteria did you have okay which criteria did you have so it's a secret he will not tell you i will do this i will do this but apparently is this what he is doing now so in general i want just to to make a short if you, you think that trading is magic, I assure you, you will never be a professional. It can happen. I don't say, I don't say it, it has never happened. People who buy, um, in the late uh, 90s who buy uh, dot com uh, internet companies like Google, like Apple, okay? Because it was like a, a bull market and they buy these companies, it was a hot sector, internet sector. Some people make a lot of money although they know nothing about trading, about something, just they buy because all the people buy. But those years have gone. Okay? It's just a hot thing that one year, two years, three years, four years, and then it stops. And then all the stocks, almost all the stocks that go so high, it goes so it goes from one dollar to two hundred dollar, and then now you find them fifty cents. Almost all, except for a few like Google, Apple, few of them. So you you should be so lucky to to have Google or Apple or some or Yahoo or something in order to make your mind to, 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 to make this uh, thing happen. Okay, so if you, you are going into your way thinking that trading is math, it's all calculation, you calculate. Okay, if I put 10,000, okay, if the stock goes that much, for example 10%, I will have a profit of $1,000. This is math, okay, it's always math. Now, if 10,000, for example, you lose 1%. What is it 1%? It's $100. Minus, because you lose. So, you know, before you do the trade, you know, you know 
how much you can lose if the, the stock goes, goes down and you have an idea if the, if, the, if the stock goes up you don't know how much is it richer but you are lucky to have some return and to have, to have some profit okay because you don't know how much now um, this is in the, in the I will show you I will show you some people um, they do catastrophes in trading I will, I will give you an example the stock is ten dollars. You buy it, and tomorrow it is nine. If you are beginner, what you should do first, you don't know, you don't plan that it's going down. You think that always tomorrow it will go up to go to eleven. Okay, thinking that the stock tomorrow will go eleven, it's optimistic, it's good, but you should make a plan. Okay. You say to yourself, I buy it today at $10. Tomorrow, if it goes at 9 what should I do? You think, you think today, you don't think tomorrow. So from today, you make the plan. You say, for example, if it is 9 I will say, I will not stay in this stock because I'm losing money. Now, if you, you are a beginner, you don't know, you don't make a plan, you are thinking, you hope that the stock, it goes to 9 you say to yourself, you say to yourself, I know that the stock goes down and go up. Okay? Because it's going here, 9, 8, 7, 6. All these days it goes like this. So you say, I will not do nothing. Okay? I will stay until the other day, the third day. It goes to 8. You are losing. Here you lose 10% of your money. 8. You are losing 20% of your money. Do you, do you, do you, do you imagine that? Eight, $8 from 10 to 8? You are losing 20. If you have $10,000, no, 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 just $10,000, 20%, it is $2,000. Okay, $2,000. You lose all, almost all your money, it's 20%. It's too much losing. Now, and then, because of you don't control yourself, you are weak in trading, and you have feelings, you have hope, you say, no, I should stay. Tomorrow from 8 it goes to 12. I know, I am sure. Okay. From 8, the, the fourth day, it goes to 3. And then when you see that it is too much, that you lose almost everything in your account, and... You feel the big pain and that you are a loser, that you have done nothing. And uh, okay, I will say right now. Now when you say at three, how much how much you lose? You lose 70% of your money. You lose seven thousand dollars. You begin with ten thousand and you are you are now three thousand. If you do one, two trades like this, you close your account and you will never trade again. Okay? That's why I say trading is math. If you, if you, um, you, you, you try to use your mind, it's all math. There is nothing magic in trading. Okay? So, um hope that this lesson uh, is very informative for you please if you have any question about this and you think that you think that it is the trading is math please comment give me your arguments give me something and I will make another video discussing this or I will I will just comment and give you my opinion on the on the thing okay thank you very much and hope this uh, will help you thank you very much